Big Math for Little Kids Introduction How many sides does a square have? Dr. Herb Ginsberg is a professor of psychology and education at Teachers College, Columbia University. He's part of the team that developed the Big Math for Little Kids curriculum. Ten. What got me interested was that I started to do some research in a low-income daycare center in New York City. And when I was there, I had no uh, intention of developing a curriculum. But then when I watched the kids, I was astounded at all the things that they did spontaneously uh, in their free play. And I got just a very different view of them than what people talk about. It's just not true that the kids are totally concrete in their thinking. It doesn't mean that, that they know everything, and certainly they have a lot to learn. But little kids really are interested in some very abstract ideas, and they can do much more than many early childhood educators think they can do. One, two, three. It's important for, uh, I think, for two reasons. One is that many kids are bored in preschool. So they are given activities to do that just aren't that interesting, and they're not stimulated in ways that they could be. So from the point of view of a child, if you limit them to what many teachers think is appropriate, it's just not exciting enough for the kids. So one reason for doing this with kids is that they really enjoy it, it's stimulating, it's great at the time. Another reason is that it can help get them ready for school. We know that a lot of kids, especially low-income kids, by the time they get into school, they're just not ready for it. They're behind already. We, we have research showing that they are uh, somewhat behind. So if we really want to help those kids uh, in preschool, we need to start early. And that doesn't mean we ought to give them workbooks, and it does not mean we ought to give them a traditional textbook or a written math curriculum. It doesn't mean that at all. It doesn't mean we have to make it miserable the way it often is in elementary school. It means that we need to give them challenging, uh, appropriate, uh, interesting math activities, and this can help them get ready for school. Excellent. In starting to do a new curriculum, it's really important for teachers to have a chance to talk with other teachers, to learn about how you do the particular activities that are involved in the curriculum. It's important because a lot of preschool teachers have not been taught very much in their college experience to do math teaching. A lot of preschool teachers don't do very much of it. And so if you introduce a challenging curriculum like Big Math, you need to study it. You need more help. You need more training. Funding for NJN's Big Math for Little Kids Teacher Training Project has been provided by Edison Venture Fund.